Ball chipped in and punched away. Great decision there from Noble. Noble hails from Graham, Texas. And this will be a throw in. Smalls, a correction, this will be a corner kick and Smalls set to take the corner kick. He's right footed, so this should be an in swinger. Ball played in near post and a, an acrobatic attempt there. And a foul called there as Josilus was knocked down to the ground. Josilus, a sophomore out of Turks and Caicos. Both of these clubs started in a 4-3-3. You should see that change somewhat as they move forward as well as defend. Tyler, Texas finished the regular season 15, two and one. They were nine, one and one in the conference. They lost to Angelina in the Gulf South District Championships, but they were chosen to attend the NJC Double A National Tournament as an at-large bid. Tyler, the number seven seed, Murray State, the number 11 seed, but as I've said through several broadcasts, got the 12 best teams here in the nation. Those numbers don't mean much here in terms of playing 90 minutes. Joe Silas plays the ball forward. Oh, and a bad pass there. And here's an opportunity. It's Wooley. And Wooley bodied off the ball there by Joe Silas. And now here's the center back, Matsuyama. Oh, and another turnover here. Ball played inside. Here's a touch from Adeyemi. Adeyemi inside, cuts inside on the edge of the 18 yard box. And then this ball played out to Seely. Seely drives the ball to the edge of the 18 yard box, headed on and then headed away by Josilas. Oh, and a foul called there. And a quick restart here from Tyler Community College. Out wide here to Villa Gomez. Smith plays the ball inside. A shot comes in. And well off the target by Wedrago Jr. Iman Wedrago Jr. is a freshman out of Paris, France. And he was trying to shape a ball on goal there that was well off target. A lot of pressure coming up top here from Tyler.
And that ball flicked on and makes its way all the way back to Mickelson. And Smith wins the ball in midfield. Plays the ball inside. Good step there from Shaked. And now Tyler slowing things down, pushing the ball forward. Chipped the ball in. And now Murray State has it. Adeyemi out wide. It's going to have to hold the ball up here. We get some help. And a shot comes in that's partially deflected. And Mickelson, also a freshman from Denmark, comes off of his line to collect it. And ball pitched forward. And now pushed up the far side of the pitch. Wedrago plays a ball inside that's collected by Noble. And Noble was fantastic in the opening round against Eastern Florida State. And that ball booted out of bounds by the Aggies. A throw in coming up for the Apaches. Matsuyama. The big center back. He's from Osaka, Japan, a freshman. Whipped in and headed on. And that will be a goal kick. Coming up for the Aggies. And we're just under 20 minutes left here. 2-0 if you're just tuning in. Two penalty kicks awarded to the Aggies. And really in a game possession-wise, controlled by by Tyler. And a turn from Smith. Smith on the edge of the 18-yard box. And Yard Van shoot, a freshman out of the Netherlands, has checked in, and he had a touch there. Matsuyama switches the ball out wide, edge of the 18-yard box. Shaquette has a touch and plays it forward. And a tackle deflects out of bounds. Tyler again resetting across their back line. Joe Silas knocks the ball forward, finds Villa Gomez. And then back to Matsuyama. And here's Shaked. A touch from Smith. And here's Smith. 
And Smith turned the defender. And Murray State able to block the shot from the big number nine. And this ball goes out of bounds. This should be an Aggies throw in. Ball out wide to Seeley. Seeley knocked the ball forward and he found Peruzo and Peruzo played the ball forward and it's collected by Tyler. Matsuyama plays it forward, finds Villa Gomez. Villa Gomez appended momentarily wins the ball back. And the ball switched over to Shaked. Foul call there as Wooley is knocked down around midfield. A quick restart here from the Aggies. And a through ball, here's Smith. Smith gonna get to this, he's got one defender. Draws another. And Tyler resets, still in possession. Matsuyama plays the ball forward. Oh, and that shot comes in. And into the back of the net. And just like that, Tyler cuts the lead in half. The ball smashed into the back of the net by Hagen Cupido. Hagen Cupido gets, follows the deflection and blasts it into the back of the net. And with 15 minutes remaining, it's 2-1. Number 14, Hagen Cupido. And Cupido just waiting there. And that's one of those times when you smash that in. I mean, just toe punch that thing into the back of the net. And Cupido opens up his hips and smashes it. And really no chance there for Noble. And Cupido getting his ninth goal of the season to add to five assists. Ball played in. Here's an opportunity again for Tyler. And that's cleared away looking for Smith. And that ball played across by Lee Shoot. Then Lee Shoot has made entrance into the game as a substitute, and he's been creating some problems over here for the right side of the Murray State defense. Noble puts the ball back into play. Headed forward, and Smith holding off a defender, Cupido. Strong play there from Cupido, and he was trying to find Smith making a run inside the 18-yard box, and they couldn't link up, and it's collected by Noble.
And a yellow card issued to Jake Shaked. Number two, the right back. Maybe the center back, excuse me, folks. Number six with the yellow card, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, Emilio Garza, the sophomore out of Mexico City, Mexico, issued the yellow card. Emilio Garza. The yellow card issued for Tyler Apache. Number six, Emilio Garza. And I apologize for that error, folks. I thought he was pointing to number two. Nevertheless, Murray State will have a free kick here. And Joel Green drives the ball in the 18-yard box. And it's defended by the Apaches, and then ball driven forward looking for Smith. And there's the strength from the big number nine as Smith able to take several touches off of his chest and hold off a couple defenders. Chipped in, Cupido. And Cupido blocks the shot over the end line. Goal kick coming up for the Aggies and Jaron Noble. Noble drives the ball forward. And a battle there. Here's Adayemi. And Seeley chips the ball into the 18 yard box. And here comes Texas. Tyler Texas, Cupido. And a tackle from behind. And a yellow card issued to Dominic Woolley, the English international, a sophomore. The yellow card caution to Murray State Aggies, number eight, Dom Woolley. And this will be a free kick here for Tyler. Community College. Hey, let's go, and Wooly gonna be substituted out for number six, Yuki Yabunaka. Yabunaka, a Japanese international. He's a sophomore. Checking in for Murray State. Number six, Yuki Yabunaka. And on the ball for the free kick is Villa Gomez. Also on the ball is Joe Silas. And ball chipped in. Ball played across and then cleared away by Mayrink. And again, Van Lee shoot creating havoc. Inside the 18 yard box. Via Gomez is going to throw this in. Or is it a corner kick? No, it's a, it's a corner kick opportunity here for Via Gomez. Via Gomez left footed. So an out swinger. And ball chipped in. And Noble into the air with confidence.
Ball flicked on, headed forward. It's Cupido. And a switch, and what a touch. And what a ball played in. A nice turn, a heel pass, and then checked in. And not a great ball played in there for the Apaches goal kick coming up for the Aggies. We are down to under 10 minutes left here in the first half. It's 2-1. Murray State leading Tyler Community College. And checking into the game, Pepin Borst. Checking in from Murray State, number 14, Pepin Borst. Pepin Borst into the game. Four and a half minutes left here. Still Texas, Tyler, Texas pushing. And dominating possession, but finding this Murray State defense difficult to crack. Ruiz knocks the ball back and Mickelson all the way up. Ball played into the 18-yard box. And the ball headed out of bounds by Wash, Kaya Wash. And the Apaches will have another corner kick. And again, Smalls over to take this corner kick. Ball played in. And another corner kick being issued for the Apaches. And again, another in swinger upcoming for the Apaches. Ball whipped in, headed on and away. Ball chipped in, looking for Matsuyama, but the ball goes out of bounds. And checking back into the game for Murray State, it's gonna be number 30, Ethan Squires. The sophomore from Barbados, seeing his second action of the first 45 minutes. We're down to two and a half minutes here. Still 2-1, Murray State leading Tyler Community College. And a yellow card issued to number 21, Joe Silas. Shaked having a discussion, trying to find out why that was a booking for Joe Silas. And here's the captain, Joe Green, with the left foot set to whip a ball inside the 18 yard box. And he does, and it was a dangerous ball. Joe Silas heads it away. And Green puts the ball back in. Ball headed away. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've got a substitution here checking in for uh, the Apaches. Checking back into the game number 12, Dio Mario Adamson, a sophomore out of Canada. Checking back in for Tyler, number 12, Dio Mario Adamson. Excuse me, folks. Ball knocked forward, cleared away by Tyler. One minute, one minute left here. Cupido looked like he got a dead leg there. And we'll find out a yellow card issued Looks like to a Murray State player. Ask him. Ask him. And the yellow card issued to number 19, Joel Green. Ball played in. And kicked out of bounds. Number 19, Joel Green. And Tyler somehow comes away with the ball here. Here's Smith. Oh, and the shot comes in and it goes, the shot goes high from Wedrongo Jr. And we're down to the final seconds here in this Ten, first half. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that's the end of the first half here at Stryker Sports Complex in Wichita, Kansas, the heartland of America, the NJC AA Division I Men's Soccer Championships. Pool B, second round matchup, Murray State Aggies leading the Tyler Junior College Apaches two to one. We'll take a short 15 minute break here as coaches work on some technical and tactical changes. You folks take a break too and come right back here in 15 minutes for the Second half of hot soccer action here at Stryker Sports yeah, Complex. The You're watching the NJC AA Division I Soccer Championships presented by Husqvarna on the NJC AA Network. To the Aggies in that opening match yesterday. So a lot of time left here. If you look at statistically in this match, the majority of the opportunities to the Apaches, but I'll tell you what, in this beautiful game, only one statistic matter, and that's balls in the back of the net. And right now, the Aggies leading in that category. Well, the lads have all switched sides here. The Apaches moving left to right across your screen. The Aggies moving right to left. Aggies in the all blue kits. Apaches all white. Ball knocked forward, finds Smith, the big center back, or excuse me, the big striker. And Shaked knocks the ball all the way back to Mickelson. And building from the back again, as we've seen for many, many times in this matchup. Apaches have the ball. Foul called by Scott Dyer, the center referee. He had given advantage to the Apaches, but when they lost the ball, blew the whistle, and now here's an opportunity for the Apaches. Ball played across and punched away.
Sakhead puts the ball in, into the back of the net. And just like that, Cupido, with his second goal of the match, has knotted things up here just minutes into the second half. And the Apaches, who have been really in control this entire game, just couldn't finish the ball, couldn't break down that Murray State defense. And Cupido, as we mentioned before, on the brace, has got Tyler back into this game. And now let's see how the Aggies respond. Credit the assist on that goal to number nine, Otto Smith Jr. Otto Smith with the assist. Ball played forward. And here come the Aggies. A good defensive work there from Adamson. Able to maintain possession. And he drives the ball forward. What a ball. What a beautiful ball in stride. And the touch lets him down. And here Adamson cool and collected as he touches the ball away from Peruzzo. Ball driven across. And Cupido smashes it into the back of the net, but the assistant referee over on the far side of the pitch had his flag raised. And Cupido on fire right now. And that was on a foul there called on Matsuyama as he climbed over the back of the Aggies player. And Scott Dyer right there to make the call. Joel Green set to take the free kick here. The English international, left footed. Ball driven in, headed away. A good defensive work by the center back, Matsuyama. And now the Aggies will have a corner kick. And Green taking his time. Again, a yellow car, excuse me, a left footed player here, Joel Green. This will be an in swinger. What a ball played in. And a goal kick awarded to the Apaches. Mickelson quickly takes it and plays it out to Shaked. Shaked a touch to his other center back, Adamson. Shaked with the touch. Oh, great run. A nice ball played in. He was looking for Wadrago Jr. A ball back and forth here is one. And here is the ball, can he get to this? And Smith plays a ball forward. He was looking for Van Lee shoot. And 
they had numbers and just too heavy on the pass forward. And a goal kick quickly taken here by the Aggies. Chipped forward, had it out of bounds. Felix Casas, the freshman from El Paso, Texas. Throw and take and flicked on. And ball goes out of bounds off Saito. turn away from pressure from Quadrado, Quadrado Jr. And a nice run there from number 30, Ethan Squires. And Squires torn down, a free kick awarded. Joel Green will take the free kick. Green puts the ball into play. And what hands there from Mickelson. Pitches it out, finds Cupido. Wow, big foul there. Free kick taken, ball played inside. And last touch there. And this will be a corner kick here. Ball put into play near post. Oh, and the shot came in, a left-footed banger from Van Lee shoot. And the shot goes wide. Matsuyama plays it over to Shakhead. And then into Smalls. Smalls chips a ball forward. And ball cut back, played to number 12, Adamson. Shakhead takes a touch. Van Lee shoot upended. And Aggies drive a ball forward. And a great step there from Matsuyama. Casas holds the ball up and finds Adamson. 
Matsuyama knocks it forward and a good step there from the Aggies defense clears it all the way back to Mickelson. And Shaqed takes a touch, plays it forward. Adamson takes on a defender and two. And here come the Aggies in transition. And a goal kick awarded to the Apaches and a quick restart here, Shaked. Out to Casas, Casas takes a touch and inside. And ball played to Van Leeshoot and Lee Shoot heads the ball out of bounds and we're gonna see a substitution here. And the substitution for the Apaches. Jaime Villa Gomez back into the game for the Apaches. Ball driven forward by Noble. And here's a step. Ball put into play here, still in play. And across the 18 yard box, but prior to getting that ball across, crossed over the end line, a goal kick here, awarded to the Aggies and the Apaches with another substitution. Ben Leeshoot gonna take a break. Checking into the game for Tyler Apaches, number 11, Tony Ngombe. Tony Ngombe checking into the game. Ngombe, a French international, a sophomore. Casas. Smith balls, plays the ball out wide. He finds Wedrago. Wedrago still. And Wedrago drives the ball across into the 18 yard box that's deflected out of bounds. And a corner kick. Coming up here, a left-footed in-swinger. Ball played and headed on, and then cleared away. Not out of danger. Ball chipped back in, headed on, and it's Smith! The big number nine from Tyler Junior College. And he's been dangerous all day. And a ball whipped in by Jaime Villa Gomez and Smith, a glancing header into the back of the net. And just like that, after finding themselves down two goals, three unanswered from the Apaches and they have taken the lead with 30 minutes remaining in this game. And what a start to the second half here. 15 minutes and two goals for the Apaches and they find themselves in the lead. Goal scorer for Tyler Apaches, number nine, Otto Smith Jr. And Otto Smith Jr., the Danish international, at the moment with the game winner. Checking in for Murray State, number 30, Ethan Squires. 
And check back into the game for Murray State College is number 30, Ethan Squires. I want a big throw in here. Head it up, not away. And here's an opportunity for the Aggies. Ball played in. And the shot just goes wide from Saito. And Saito was calling for a deflection. But a goal kick is awarded here to the Apaches. Ball knock forward and Cupido on a hat trick at the moment. And that ball sneaks through and Cupido's on his way into Noble unabated. And a handball called there. I think that was on Carl Merch, number seven. And a free kick here taken by the Apaches. And Adamson working the ball along his back line. And as Tyler Community College has done the entire game, doing well, holding possession. Via Gomez. And a foul called there. And a heavy touch, and here comes the, the Aggies of Murray State College. A lot of fight left here in Murray State. The number 11 seed knocked off the number two seed in the opening round, Eastern Florida. And a good tackle there. And an equally good tackle here from the Aggies. Tyler still in possession. Ball played forward, and here come the Aggies trying to catch Tyler in transition. Here's Green. Green takes a touch with the left foot, chips it forward, looking for Saito. Saito has a touch inside. And a foul called there on the Aggies. What Drago Jr. Knocked down on the play. And Apaches will have a free kick. Wedrago with a cheeky little pass back. Cupido. And a fan warning being issued. And the fan here from Murray State College being warned. And 
And the assistant referee having a talk with him. A warning issued to the Tyler, excuse me, to the Murray State fans. Ball put into play for Murray State. Headed away in a great touch there by Wedrano. Wedrano, a ball played in here, Smith, and Smith on two. And Cupido, and well defended there by the Aggies. A ball chipped in, and here's an opportunity. On the ball and defended well by Tyler. And that was Peruzzo with an opportunity there. He had two defenders on him, but he had position. play there from Murray State and checking into the game for the Apaches number six Emilio Garza also checking into the game number 22 Ryan Muldoon checking in for Tyler Texas we have number six Emilio Garza Number 22, Ryan Muldoon. Ladies and gentlemen, Select Sports is proud to be the official match ball of the National Junior College Athletic Association. Select Super FIFA match balls used exclusively at all NJCAA soccer championships. Select Sport, inspired by history but designed for the future. You are watching the NJCAA Network presented by Zurich Insurance, the official provider of student athlete insurance for the NJCAA. Zurich Insurance helps athletes get back on the field after an injury. Learn more at ZurichNA.com. Checking into the game for Tyler, Texas, number seven, Yarch Von Leitscheidt. Von Leitscheidt. And number seven, checking back into the game for the Apaches is number seven, Van Leeshoot. That ball goes out of bounds, corner kick coming up. Fans of 2023 NJCAA Division I Soccer Semifinals and National Championship game will be streamed exclusively on ESPN Plus. Visit ESPN.com or the ESPN Plus app to watch a national champion be crowned later this week. And a ball played in. Cleared away and the ball goes out of bounds. This should be an Aggies throw in. The ball thrown all the way back to Shockhead. And drive the ball forward is Matsuyama. Plays it back to Shakid. And then over to Garza. Garza out wide finds Wadrano. And then Wadrano back to Shakid. And a nice run there. From Tyler, Murray State, smart play there. And they win the goal kick. A restart quickly taken by the Aggies.
And Adamson issued a yellow card. And he'll be checked out of the match here. And checking back into the game for Tyler are gonna be Midas Smalls, number 10. Ball driven into the 18 yard box, headed away by Smith, and then cleared away. A little hand checking going on here. looking to turn. Oh, and a good tackle there. And Cupido whips the ball out wide, and he finds Wedrago. And Cupido plays the ball in, headed in, and into the back of the net. is Yart Van Lee shoot, and he went up with strength over the top of the Aggies defender. And now with less than 20 minutes remaining, Tyler Community College, excuse me, Tyler Junior College takes a two goal lead, four to two, three unanswered goals here in the second half. And Cupido now on two goals and an assist. Now let's see how the Aggies respond here. For now is Tyler four, Murray State two. And I'll tell you what, in situa situations like this, down two goals, 20 minutes left in the game, a lot of time here for Murray State. They gotta keep their chins up. And Tyler Junior College gotta stay smart. Here's Joel Green, number 19, the sophomore from Manchester, England, on the free kick. Oh, and he drives the ball in. And no trouble there for Mickelson. And Mickelson launches the ball. Looking for Van Lee shoot. Oh, and that shot blocked. And Tyler Junior College in possession here. In possession and in control of the game. It's about 18 and a half minutes remaining here. come the Aggies. Overlapping run finds Green. Green on his left foot. Out to Peruzzo. And here's Saito. Peruzzo takes a touch inside. And plays it back and finds Wash. Back to Peruzzo. Wash plays it inside to Saito. Saito on the inside of the 18 yard box. 
And the Apaches just clear. And Peruzzo keeps the ball in play here. A touch to Wash. Back to Green. Green puts the ball into play. Headed on. And collected by Mickelson. And again, a quick restart from Mickelson. Mickelson wasting no time. As the Apaches look to catch the Aggies in transition. And Cupido checking out of the game, checking into the game is going to be Hugo Debenham. Debenham, Debenham a freshman out of New Zealand. Checking into the game for Tyler Junior College. Number 19, Hugo Debenham. Checking in for Murray State College, number 21, Jack Smith. And Jack Smith, number 21, checking in the freshman out of England for the Aggies. Ball kicked out of bounds, throwing coming up. For Tyler Junior College, another substitution for the Apaches. Diego Ruiz checking back into the field. Diego Ruiz. And the Apaches try to whip a ball into the box. It's blocked by the Aggies. A throw in coming up. And a foul call, the Aggies will have a free kick. Jaron Noble, the goalkeeper for Murray State College, pushing everyone forward. Down two goals. They've got to start taking chances now. This Tyler Junior College Club has been very stingy. Ball knocked out of bounds, throw in coming up. And another substitute checking in for Murray State. Taking back into the game for Murray State. And number seven, Carl Murch. Carl Murch, number seven, checking back in. The English International. A throw in upcoming from Mayrink. And Mayrink, basically like a free kick here, launches it in. Smith heads the ball up in the air. Ball played back to Green. Green on his left foot. Drives the ball in the 18-yard box. Flicked on. And cleared away by the Apaches. This will be another throw in. Smith touches the ball away. And a push there to the back of Diego Ruiz. Draws the foul and the whistle from Scott Dyer. NJCAA soccer fans, stay up to date with the latest news and information regarding the NJCAA soccer. By visiting the official website of the National Junior College Athletic Association at www.njcaa.org. Order your official 2023 NJCAA Division I Soccer Championship merchandise online at the NJCAA store. Visit shopnjcaa.com to view exclusive National Championship Merchandise. Take 
of the game for Murray State, number 10, Jamily Barclay. Oh, and a ball played in. It's headed out of bounds. The ball played in by Jack Smith. Headed out of bounds by Garza. And here comes a corner kick for the Aggies. And no better time than now with 12 minutes and some change remaining to try to cut this lead in half. Oh, and a nice ball played and headed on. And quickly off his line, Mickelson collects it. And we've got a player down on the pitch. Husqvarna is proud to be the presenting sponsor of the 2023 NJCAA Division I Men's and Women's Soccer Championships as the official robotic mower of the NJCAA. Husqvarna is an industry leader in turf management and aims to support the association from the field level with cost-efficient and sustainable robotic mowing solutions. Players still down on the field. And the player downs number five, Juros Vulovic, the freshman out of Serbia. And he looks a little unsteady on his feet. He might have suffered a head injury there. And checking into the game is going to be number 24, Thomas Arboleda, a freshman out of Medellin, Colombia. Checking in for Murray State, number 24, Thomas Arboleda. Aggies building a play here. And a touch inside, inside the 18 yard box, flicked on. The ball knocked forward. And here's Joe Green, touches it forward, finds Peruzzo. And again, building play here. Looking for an opportunity. The Aggies drive the ball into the 18 yard box. And that's headed away by Matsuyama. And here come the Apaches. Pushing the ball forward, Diego Rees. And he turns, he's trying to turn the defender well defended. Ball chipped into the 18 yard box, cleared away. And this ball headed back to Mickelson. They need to see more of that for Murray State. And here's a ball into Smith. And And Smith called for the handball inside the 18 yard box. And he's frustrated. That would have been a great opportunity there to really put the game away. Two goals. A difficult task in nine and a half minutes. Three. 
Yeah, this over, ladies and gentlemen. No chance whatsoever. But this fighting spirit here for Murray State College, you gotta imagine there's still a chance here. Nine and a half minutes. And Tyler Junior College trying to destroy those dreams. And ball played in and he tried to put it in side netting and had that ball gone into the back of the net. Assistant referee had his flag raised, would not have counted. And we're gonna see another substitution for Murray State here. Goal kick taken by Noble. And a foul called there on Muldoon. And this ball all the way back to Joel Green. Ball headed away. And now the Apaches looking to catch the Aggies in transition and well defended. And Aggies maintain possession, keep Tyler pinned in their third of the pitch. And a missed touch there and cleared away by Shaked. Ball forward finds Peruzzi. Peruzzo, excuse me, still Peruzzo. Peruzzo just looking for a little space. And the shot comes in. And over the mark, the shot from Dominic Wooley. And checking back into the game for Tyler Junior College, gonna be number 17, Wadrado, Wadrago Junior. And some substitutions checking in. Daka Montague. Number 11. Number 13, Felix Casas. And Felix Casas checking also in for Tyler Junior College. Checking in for Murray State. Jamili Barclay. Jamali Barkley checking in, number 10. And number 23, Frank Perez also checking in for the Aggies. Ball knocked forward. Ball switched out wide, finds Seeley. Seeley plays the ball into the 18 yard box, headed away by Garza. Garza plays the ball forward to Smith. Mayrick defending as Wadrago Jr. attacks. And 
And the yellow card issued to number 12, Breno Neva. Neva, the freshman out of Brazil. Down to four, <clears throat> excuse me, about four minutes and some change remaining. And the situation growing dire for the Aggies. Down two goals. Trickles over the end line, a goal kick coming up for the Aggies. Jaron Noble gonna take this quick restart. Switches it out wide to Jack Smith. Smith gonna take some space here and plays it over to Wooley. And a foul called there on Wedrago Jr. And the captain, Joel Green, shouting some orders before he takes this free kick. Ball played back in by Seeley, and Muldoon heads it on. Wedrago. Still wet, Drago. The ball goes out of bounds. This should be a throw in. And the clock is going to stop on every substitution now as. As Tyler Junior College is leading any substitution after five minutes. He's gonna force a stop on the clock. And checking back into the game is Cupido, checking out is Smith. Smith at the moment with the game winner. Foul finally called in that scrum mid-pitch. Thought we were watching a rugby match there for a second. And the clock's running, folks. Under two minutes left here. Something's got to happen right now. Ball played in. And up with strength is Mickelson. And I'd love to see a goal goalkeeper go up and get the ball and pop right back up. After taking a shot like that. And Mickelson drives it all the way downfield to Noble. And we're about to the one minute mark. Driven into the 18 yard box, headed away. Muldoon has it and he just flicks it on. Ball played forward to Cupido. And Cupido just going to hold on to this ball for these final 30 seconds, do his best at least to kill a few seconds off the clock. And we've got a goal kick here, down to 23 seconds. Tyler Junior College gonna win this game here, folks, four to two. 
in a match when they found themselves down by a goal, scored three unanswered goals in the second half. And that's the game here, ladies and gentlemen. Final whistle, and it was a heck of a game. And you gotta put your hands together for a great game for both of these clubs. Otto Smith Jr. getting the game winner. The glancing header.